So for today, we're going to be looking at what 801 is selling. Usually we look at what 801 is selling during the week for all of the shaders and the armor sets for the week. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up because I do see one shader that people are probably going to freak out about because it is from. Mm. So for today, we're going to be looking at what 801 is selling. We usually look at what she is selling for the week. So shaders and armor sets as well. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, this is Rasm Rasmussen clan shader, bro. So me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of any shader outside of Sato tribe and the raid one. I forget what it's called. The really red one. Um, and then the other tip. Okay. Rasmussen and the red one. I'm not the biggest fan of those two because they have this gross yellow right here. If the gross yellow wasn't there, I'd actually be a big fan of it. Seeing this though, I'm, I am thinking about maybe making a set for my Titan where they use minimal or minimal cloth. So that way I can just have plate armor. Cause in the, at that point it'd be cool because plate armor, it looks cool. You have this really cool green and this like really good gold. But it's that yellow that really ruins it for me. So that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. And the red one as well. But Sato Tribe, best shader in the game. And you can't, you're wrong if you say otherwise. Uh Cairo's gold. This we got last week, didn't we? I, yeah, we got this one last week, you know? I don't remember. Either way, it's fine. Like, I think the red and the gray is such a cool color color combo. It's the yellow that like got got green, like baby puke green color that just really ruins it for me. And then War Called Camo, which I'm, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. It's the white, honestly. I don't even, I'm, like, honestly, I'm not even hating the orange because, like, this is War Cult shader. Like, I expect it. <sighs> Still fuck that color, but it's the white. It's a little too much. Uh, I think the, when it's something super dark and something super bright, I just feel like, like, visually just really pisses me off. And then for the armor sets, this is where it gets interesting because I know the Insight Rover stuff. Um... I have not posted the armor set yet because I need to actually see what armor sets this is. I think I just I think I just got an idea because it's world armor. Uh, it's the last page. It is the last page. Okay, so for the warlocks, it's gonna be okay, and then for the titans, I think it's gonna okay. So if it follows the armor sets here, then it should be the uns unsight unyielding suit for the titans, and then for the warlocks, uns insight vic victi suit. Yeah, yeah, that's how it should be like that. So hunters, let's start with you guys. I think the helmet is very usable. I think the arms are cool because they are symmetrical and you can use them in very, really cool ways. The chest piece is probably the piece that most people are going to be using just because it is a really unique chest piece. Boots are pretty bad and the cloak is also like probably the worst piece from the whole set if I'm being quite honest. As for the Titans, I think, oh man, let me let me be real with you guys right now. I think this is... Uh, I, I don't want to say this is the worst set I've ever seen for Titans, but it's really, really close. And it's not even for reasons that you might think. I actually think design wise, it looks really cool. Very, very targeted. Like for me, when I saw this armor, I was like, man, this looks like some Mongolian fucking armor dog. And I don't hate that. I think it's super cool. The problem is that it shaders obscenely terribly. Like it's super fucking terrible. Um, and it's funny because for those who have actually watched a lot of my content, you guys will know that I actually use the boots quite a bit. The Greaves, I actually unlocked it for for fashion because I do use the boots for a specific set with the um, the chess piece for the Titans, specifically the what is it? The sun, the falling sun star sun one. I forget what it's called, but I use that one quite a bit because I have a Mongolian look for that one. So this is coming from someone who uses one piece from it, like almost re like religiously, because I love that set. It's just that I can't really ignore that even the boots like they shade her really fucking terribly and the whole set is just the fact that the orange also stays there is pretty a pretty big problem for me. Warlocks, I think the helmet and the chest piece are dope as fuck. I think both of them are super, super dope. The arms and the boots are very boring and then the bond is just so generic that I don't really have any thoughts on it. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Like I said, I really, really like a lot of these sets pieces i should say because they are very unique it's just that on the titans uh side all is shaded really terribly and then on the other both sides they're fine it's just they're very niche so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later